Hello everyone, Chocolate Birds here, but not for a video review, this time it's for Look Back. Yes, my sort of bi-weekly, bi-monthly, fortnightly. <laughs> look back at things I reviewed uh, one year ago and five years ago, basically. So yeah, so in this video I'll just basically be discussing things, uh, well, as I say, that I reviewed one year ago and also five years ago, and see whether I've changed my mind on my verdict and things like this. And yeah, things have stood up today, and also things are just not available anymore, um, you know, or yeah, reminisce in some ways. Probably for the things over five years ago, but you never know, you never know. <laughs> Yeah, it's okay, without further ado then, so one year ago, what did I do? Yes, I did peanut butter M&Ms, yeah, and I gave this a three and a half out of five, and um, yeah, I think the gist of it was, it was just a bit sort of, I don't know, underwhelming, I guess, is the gist of it, yeah, so I didn't feel too uh, bowled over by it, basically, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I think, you know, I, I, I feel like it was just, it's, it's a high bar, basically, for peanut butter pot, especially set by Reese's and uh, Kit Kat, actually, as well, um, strangely enough, uh, Kit Kat Chunky peanut butter, and uh, yeah, but Reese's as well, obviously, all Reese's products are pretty well. I think, I think they are all peanut butter related in some way, <laughs> shape or form. Um, yeah, maybe there's one. Maybe there's one product that just has peanuts in there, and there's that snack mix. I think, but whatever it's called. But anyway, yeah. So just a bit is, yeah. I think three and a half was about right. They just weren't. They they, they were just lacking something. Is just a bit. So yeah. So three and a half. I think that's a, yeah. Keep that one the same. I think that's a, yeah, I agree with that one. I remember just being a bit underwhelmed with that one. And we have cabbage Fredo face cakes. Yeah. So these were like. Um, they were, they were like a sort of, uh, I guess a sponge really, top and bottom with Freddo's face on, you know, one way or another, you know, Freddo the Frog Cadbury's sort of mascot, I guess. Um, it had like a cream middle in it, a bit like a bourbon cream or something. They were nice, but it was just far too much cake. Um, you just couldn't taste the middle really. I, I think what I said at the time was if you could take the top and bottom, or well, the top off, I guess, and spread, um, you know, like a chocolate spread on it, then you'd have something worth your time really. But it just wasn't much taste. And I gave these a three and a half... Out of five, uh, let's say it wasn't much taste because just too much cake, and I think that's you know they weren't terrible or anything, but uh, I think that's too high. That you know I think um, yeah I think it's a two out of five really. You just couldn't taste enough. You know it's just too much cake. And well, granted, you could take you know one of the um, tops off, you know the top off it um, and eat it that way. But even then, I think it was still a bit you know yeah too cakey and the middle didn't taste strong enough. So I think I was a bit um, too. Um, Lenient on those, so yeah, that's gone down that one to two and out two out of five, yeah. So, yeah, bit um, yeah. Hmm, I think I was a bit too um, a bit too lean, as I say. Then we had Cadbury's Roses gift box. Yes, I um, couldn't say that probably. Cadbury's Roses gift box. Yeah, <laughs> I kept saying Rosef. Cadbury's Roses gift box. There we go. I said, <laughs> dear me, what's going on? Um, yeah, basically it was a, it's like a sort of. Nice looking box um, with you know nice little touches on like little messages when you opened it and at the bottom of it after you'd eaten them all and stuff like that. Um, but it had like false sides to it, uh, made it look like you know had more in it than it did. And then I only had one orange cream in it. It was like a sizable box, you know, you'd expect at least two or three of each type. I only had one orange cream in it. That was terrible, that one, terrible. Um yeah, I mean, you know, I know Andrew Winters mentioned it a few times in the, in the comments of that, and I think he's suffered a similar thing as well with one of the, I don't know if it's if it's roses or something else, but he had something with only one of in them, and it was just, it's ridiculous when this happens. It's, it's really poor quality control, I think. And I did give the overall product um, a three and a half out of five. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a difficult one, because obviously when you're faced with just getting one orange cream in it, um, is it called tangy orange cream or just orange? well the orange one basically like the orange cream I think I think it's officially might be called tangy orange cream yeah it just you know do you have one of them if that's your favorite or someone you know just you know you offered someone one and they took that one thinking there'd be more than more than one in there which you would do um you know you'd be really disappointed then that was a real joke that one so yeah I did give us a few out of five that could have been just a freak occurrence I'm not sure it was really so many distribution problems with the chocolates over the years in this channel um yeah so I don't know. Um, it's it's a difficult one to knock things down for those because they are sort of random, but they shouldn't be random. They they should know how much goes into those. Um, yeah. So you know, I think for that reason, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, is it fit for purpose? Being that, you know, having just one in, I mean, give it three and a half out of five. But um, roses are nice. You know what I mean? They are nice. I just don't know. I, I don't know where to stand on that. I think I think that is too ridiculous just to have one. I think, you know, yeah, I'll say three and a half out of five. I think I'm going to lower it to a two for having just one in. I think that's just not acceptable, really. Um, it's just not acceptable. It's a shame, really. I just, because it's obviously, they're obviously a nice set. Um, but if you can only get one of one of the chocolates in it, I just think that's just not on that. Um, as nice as the rest of them are, you know, you know what I mean? I think overall it's probably three and a half out of five. 
generally for the taste but for the fact that I only got one orange cream in it I just I don't know it's, it's a very difficult one this one because obviously you know yeah you are reviewing the I mean it's a hard one for me to know what to do really because obviously the taste section is three and a half that you know it still tastes the same you know it's not like it's gone downhill in uh, nowadays you know what I mean but the fact that I say only got one orange cream in it I just don't know I think I'm just going to reflect that here and say two out of five. I mean, I don't know what I would do if I reviewed something again and only had one of them again, whether I would give it the benefit of the doubt or not, like I probably did here. I'm not sure that I should do, really, because I'm reviewing the product. If I opened a, a chocolate selection and it had, um, you know, all these different chocolates in, you know, ten different types of chocolates or five or whatever, um, and generally it had all spaces for, you know, three of each, um, but for one of the chocolates, they only had a space for one, which does happen, actually. Hmm, what do I do there? Do I... Usually it's not just one, actually. It's usually more than one, I think. Um, but this similar does happen. Now I'm sort of talking about it, but I don't think to that extent. I'm sure there's always more than one. I stand to be corrected, of course. Um, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go with it and say two out of five. I just don't think that's right. It's not on. It's The quality control is terrible for that to happen. Um, it shouldn't happen. They can, as I've always said these things, and I won't labour the point too much because I'm already labouring it, really. But they can, they can, they know just what's going into those products you know what I mean they, they weigh them all sorts they you know they could know within within um point one of a percent of to what's in that to the accuracy of it you know what I mean and uh yeah so um yeah I I I, I it's just not on two out of five yeah and um, so we did the pretzel M&Ms as well they're similar uh yeah similar similar-ish to the peanut butter ones really these ones were just a bit too dry they needed something else in them like um um peanut butter perhaps you know or, or something or chocolate or something they were just a bit too dry just and you know it's great if you love pretzels or whatever but they just needed something else with them i gave them a three and a half out of five um i think that's probably too high as well i think it's probably a three out of five i think you know just about a three i think because they just weren't quite right you know if you love pretzels and things fine but they just you know they were just too dry they just weren't there's they needed something else you know what i mean this and they weren't real they weren't really like a pretzel as such because obviously little spheres or whatever um you know so it wasn't really like eating a pretzel it was just a bit i don't know it sort of was it sort of isn't you know what i mean pretzels are very sort of specific those little sort of, as, you know, as you know like those little small lattice type biscuity things you know and obviously if they're a bit bigger in ball shapes or whatever it's not quite the same um yeah so it just didn't quite work. So, you know, I think a three, I think three out of five is probably been good on them because it could have been a two and a half. I think, um, you know, they needed something else. They just needed something else. So I still have a three, I think. I still lowered it. Um, but it's almost a two and a half out of five, I think, those ones. Yeah. Mm. In fact, two and a half out of five. Two and a half out of five. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so what else do we have? Kinder Bueno Whites. Yeah, now this one, I gave a four and a half out of five. Now I marked it down because of the, the wasted space in the packaging. There's so much, so much flourishes in this one. The, the bar itself was so much smaller uh, than the wrapper made it look like. I, I'm a bit unsure as whether to lower the mark of things because of, um, you know, wasted space, basically dead space. Um, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. And sometimes I just, well, I'll just highlight it and I'll, I'll mark the taste um, out of five or whatever. It's a difficult one, this one, because as I say, there is fringe cases like the Cadbury... Um, you know, um, Rose's gift box, where you know it's not the, the taste is nothing to do with the fact that there's only one um, orange cream in there. You know, it's just poor quality control. So I don't know. Um, the Kinder Bueno White is definitely a five out of five for taste. It's really nice, but I'm going to stick with the four and a half out of five. I think I think in this case it is a, a real crime, really, the amount of wasted space was the, the the size of the flourishes for this bar is just ridiculously big, you know. So I am going to stick with that and say four and a half to five. But the taste-wise, it, it is really nice. It's a five out of five. But um, yeah. But as I say, just that wasted space is ridiculous, ridiculous. So I'll keep it as it was four and a half, four and a half out of five. Now, the, yeah, an unusual one. This one normally would be um, yeah, a members only review these days. But I, I reviewed it for whatever reason. I think I just fancy doing it. And this was the I think it's the Mufourier version. Ben and Jerry's salted caramel brownie. Yeah, the Mufourier one, a lone calorie one. Um, yeah, basically half the calories pretty much of a regular Ben and Jerry's tub. Now this is the only one of the Ben and Jerry's that actually tastes um, of the Mufoy range or the lower calorie ones. So it actually tastes pretty much as good as a regular one. Now the difference here is that the the, the brownie pieces are smaller than sort of regular Ben and Jerry's brownie. That's where they've cut the corners, uh, I guess, in this one. That, that's noticeable anyway. But it tastes really nice. It melts perfectly as well. There's no weird oddity to the way it melts like other low calorie um, ice cream can have. As it's not really low calorie, it's still quite high in calories, but 500 calories for the whole tub, roughly, more or less. Um, it's, it's really good, you know, really good, especially when the regulars have a thousand plus, you know. So, yeah, 
just means you can have two of them, of course. But <laughs> that's why I do them for you. Know, shouldn't do, but there we go. But um, yeah, um, really nice this one. Yeah, I give it a four and a half out of five. But I'm going to bump it up to a five out of five. I think this is a really nice product. It's uh, see for what for the the taste. Um, you know, it's slightly not quite as there's a slight. Yeah, as I say, you can you, know, you can tell there's not as many brownie pieces as there always would be. I think that's the only difference you can tell. The ice cream, I think, is really nice. Lots of salted caramel in there. If you like it or not, and which you know, obviously makes could make a difference with whether you get this one or not. But as I say, I, I think it works all really well. It's really nice, and even with the low amount of brownie in there, it's still, I'd say, pretty much packed full of stuff. It's still really nice. Um, you don't really notice it that much, and I think for the fact that it is, yeah, so much lower in calories than a regular one, and still tastes pretty much exactly as, as just as good. It tastes better than a lot of other regular Ben and Jerry ones are, you know, full fat, full calorie ones. I think it's definitely worth a five out of five. I've, I've definitely grown this. I have this. It's almost, almost one of my go-to Ben & Jerry's ones now, really, because it's just it's just half the calories, as I say, of a regular one. So, you know, and pretty much just as nice. Yeah. So, um, yeah. yeah. Five out of five, for sure. Yeah, five out of five, for sure. <laughs> Then what else do we have? Yes, so cabbage day milk. Well, we did we did some of the um, yeah last year's inventor bars basically. So there, well, you know, I did. I've slightly gone over the uh, the year threshold from last year to in order to incorporate them all into this video. So yeah, the first one was cabbage day milk coconutty. Yes, and um, similar to this year's ones, really. I gave it a three and a half out of five. You know, and uh, basically said it's just it just wasn't the sum of its parts wasn't you know it was less than some of its parts the ingredients just didn't work together i think this one i think last year the uh some of them had white chocolate in them um but the representation for white chocolate was just these sort of white, white chocolate crispy balls and you just could not taste the white chocolate and clearly you know i think the uh, the lady who designed this one clearly wanted coconut and white chocolate in as two of her favorite things or it's her daughter's favorite things or both you know one or the other um but you know that white chocolate just didn't work it was just a terrible terrible representation of white chocolate it was just it looked like it was the only thing that represented white chocolate that, that last year could have changed this year of course or you know for this year's ones i'm not, not sure what what was there obviously this cabbage white does exist now i don't think it was an option last year so the white chocolate inclusion might have been slightly different but last year yeah it was just terrible um so it just really didn't fit the brief you know it really missed the brief you know it just didn't um yeah just just it just it was just really poor and it's very similar to as i say um yeah, this year's as well, just the fact that the, the existing ingredients just didn't quite work together. This one had like coconut bits in as well. So obviously we're talking about um, the sweet nothings and things about how it's market research and stuff. And last year, obviously coconut pieces were one of the one of the things, I guess, um, that they were trying out, presumably for market research, because it's a bit of a different ingredient, isn't it, than uh, you normally get from Cadbury. Um, yeah, so we're going to say next year I'm expecting another one like pineapple, some, some other random ingredients to go in so they can do market research for that. Um, yeah, so... You know, yeah, this one, three and a half out of five. I think I'm going to stick with it. I can't quite recall well enough to say if it was a three out of five. I mean, it was it was nice. It had a nice crunch to it, but it just was missing out. And the coconut wasn't too strong, and the white chocolate was non-existent. So, yeah, which is what meant to be one of the key components of it. So, mm. I shall say when the lady said, I met designed this around coconut and white chocolate, two of my favourite things, or two of my daughter's favourite things, or whatever it was, and it just didn't taste the white chocolate. So, yeah, three and a half out of five, I'll stick with that. It wasn't too bad, I'd say, but it was... It was the it was the texture rather than the taste that were good on it, you know. So yeah. Hmm. Then we had uh, what else do we have? Yes, yeah, so had uh, well jumped away from it for a time. We had milky caramello as well. I gave this a four out of five. Um I think yeah, I think this one yeah, I can't, you know, I think it's one of those where it's a nice bar. Um, you know, it does what it says. I think you have to give it time to get the full flavour out of it. I think a four out of five is probably about right for that one. I don't really the thing is with it, I don't recall being terribly bowled over by it or Having a strong opinion either way, it was one of those bars, really. But I think a four out of five is about right, really. Yeah, now we did have the um, yes, the cabbage donut crunchy honeycomb. This was one I think he changed the name of it after a while, I can't quite recall what it was now. Um, when he actually because yeah, it won and he released it later and he changed the name of it, I think. Uh, can't quite recall what it was, as I say. Um, but again, it's the same problem the components don't work, um, be it together basically, they don't work together, you know, the, the quantities or whatever. and yeah, I don't know. It just just didn't work, you know. Um, I say they are just they are just thrown together at really thought of how to make them work. They're just sort of pots that can be pick up and put in, um, and it just yeah, it just didn't work. So I gave us a three out of five basically. So it's it's the same common problem. They just don't they just don't put the effort in to make the bar work. They just put in, you know, they've got a pot of honeycomb, whatever pot of something else. And they don't think about it, you know. Um, and then they might, you know, for the fudge, if they put fudge in, they might only have three cubes of that in a pot, in a portion. So they just put three cubes in. There's hardly any fudge in these things when you get ones with fudge in. 
well, it's the end of the world, I guess. I'm not the biggest fudge person, um, but you know, um, you know what I mean. That's that's the thing. You just don't they don't tailor it very well, um, or if at all, really. So yeah, so if you had to fight for that one, I don't, yeah, yeah, I think it did win, as I say, but for me, I, you know, it, it didn't bowl me over at all. But yeah, milk and confetti, and I gave this a five out of five. It's basically milk with some mini Smarties in it, and uh, so it's nice and colourful. Lots of lots. It was totally filled as well, really jam packed full of. Um, you know, mini Smarties confetti. Really nice. Yeah, I'll say five out of five for this one that is what I gave it to. And I definitely agree with that one. It was just lovely textures, nice chocolates as well, really worked well together. Yeah, I'll say not overly complicated, just sort of mini Smarties and milk, but looked really nice, tasted really nice, lovely textures. Five out of five, yeah. It was a nice one, that one, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the last of uh, the last one for a year ago, and the last of the Inventor Bars last year, this was the Out of the Blueberry Dairy Milk. Yeah, Dairy Milk Out of the Blueberry. Um, it goes for three and a half out of five. And again, it was it had nice blueberry chocolate uh, or blueberry flavour in the chocolate. I think it was crispy bits actually. I don't think it was a flavour into the chocolate. I think it was crispy bits actually. Um, but again, it, had, it was meant to have white chocolate in it, and it, and again, the white chocolate just didn't work. And this one, I, I think I mentioned the sweet nothings that they have to have three ingredients, but this one only had two last year. So they obviously don't. But I guess most people feel obliged to put three in. Um, so it's the same difference kind of anyway. But uh, but this one only had two ingredients. Yeah. But as I say one of them was white chocolate sort of crispy balls, which didn't taste the white chocolate at all. Um, so you're really just left with some crunchy bits because uh, and you know, and the crunchy blueberry bits as well. So it's still nice because I like the blueberry taste, um, but as I say, that white chocolate was just non-existent. So yeah, it was a three out of five this one, and I think I tend to agree with that as well. I think this one is a three out of five. I think this was the, a nice one to have the blueberry flavour. And of course, this year they've gone with cherry, haven't they? So they, you know you can see how they're working it, can't you? They just throw in different sort of ingredients for the market research for you to see what, how popular these different flavours are. So the ones that released this year. Um, yeah, was it cherry and banana basically? So you know you've got like a yeah. So you can see what they do, can't you? They're planting little seeds to see what what grows basically. Yeah, so there we go. I think they're probably about right, really. Three and a half um, for the blueberry one and the coconutty one, and three for the honeycomb one. I think the honeycomb one was very even though it won. I don't. I think it won because it's less divisive. The one that wins generally is the one that's less divisive. So this year you got banana and cherry. There are going to be people who don't like banana and don't like cherry, but most chocolate people like brownie. So and it sounds better brownie, doesn't it? So and last year coconut. Blueberry. There's going to be people that don't like coconut. There's going to be people that don't like blueberry. Honeycomb is a bit less um, divisive, really, I would have said. So, yeah, so there we go. Even though, you know, say I'm not a big coconut fan, but you, you probably, probably would just overlook it and just say I'm not having that coconut one. You know, it didn't really taste like coconut as such. You know, it's more crunchy bits. You know what I mean? So, anyway. But yeah, there we go. Those are all the ones I did one year ago. So let's go to five years. So, yes, I'll just move my little script above. I say script, it's just a little <laughs> score chart, I guess. <laughs> Well, speaking of honeycomb, we did the Cab Cabri's Crunchy, yeah, so um, I gave this one a 3 out of 5, I said there's not much to it, you know, I think that might be a bit harsh, that one, really. Um, well, I mean, there isn't much to it, but it tastes better than some of its parts. I think uh, I think I'm going to up that one, I think. I think, don't think I can quite say a 4 out of 5, so I'm going to say a 3.5 out of 5, I think, um, yeah, I think it's better than a 3, I think, really, but as I say, I'm not quite sure it's as good as a 4, so I'm going to have to re-review it at some point to determine that, but yeah. Three and a half out of five, I think is about right for that one. Hmm. Then they did the US Nestle Roller as well, yeah. So I don't believe it tasted really any different, to be honest with you. I gave it to three and a half out of five. I think that's probably about right. Rollers are quite nice, even though they're quite boring. I don't know, they're one of those where they, they, they have a play, time and a place, basically, rollers. Um, so, you know, even though they're not going to, you know, blow your socks off, they do work at the right time. So yeah, I think uh, three and a half out of five is about right for that one. As I say, these were the US ones, but they didn't really taste any different than the European ones or the UK ones anyway. So that I could tell. <laughs> Maybe a slight chocolate taste, but even I don't think so. It seems to be the same. So yeah, so three and a half out of five. Um, yeah, and then we did the dairy milk Oreo. So this one, you know, become the sort of bane of my existence, all these Oreo fillings. I did give this a three out of five, and I said basically I'd rather have a dairy milk or I'd rather have some Oreo biscuits because they, they just taste better than the, the parts in this bar, basically. You know, they don't represent Oreo very well. It doesn't really represent dairy milk very well. So that's the gist of it, really. It's just not as good as the sum of its parts in this case. Um, yeah, I think, yeah... I think um, I think I'd probably lower it to a two and a half out of five. This one, I think, I've just been a bit fed up with all these Oreo products. They don't taste that great. They're all a bit sickly. They don't taste like Oreo. There's been so many of them over the years now. I'm just a bit bored of them. It could be a two out of five. But I think a two and a half. I think a two and a half might be a, two might be a bit too harsh. But two and a half, I think, is about right. So, but you know, I say it could be a two. Maybe it will um, <laughs> next year when, <laughs> when there's even more of them come out and I'm even more bored of them. But yeah. They're a Nestle Lion. Yeah, it's a regular Lion. So I need to perhaps review this one. I gave this a three out of five. I know it's quite a divisive one. Some people really like this bar, especially people like Drifters. It's basically a finger of Drifter with 
um, chocolate with uh, rice crisp pieces mixed in, covered on top of it to make it like a quite a thick layer. It is nice actually. I think um, you know. I'm not sure. I need to review review Tofikus. Tofikus were the ones I always really enjoyed, um, but I'm not too sure now. I, I need to perhaps re-review those and see whether I prefer them than, than uh, yeah, Lion bars. And Lion's okay. I don't think it really does it that much for me. I gave it um, as I say three out of five. I think the line, the white chocolate line, is where it's at. I think Nestle white chocolate is just so much nicer, and I think that one is definitely the way the way to go. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to see. Did I uh, review that one anytime recently? I can't think. I... Yeah, no, I've not uh, reviewed that. I thought I might have um, basically referenced that in the previous weeks before the white chocolate ones. Here's three out of five. I think that's probably about right. The white chocolate one's better, and that would probably be a four out of five at least. Um, yeah, so there we go. Three out of five, I think, is about right for me. I'm not. I know some people really like lines, as I say, but for me, yeah, they're not that great so three out of five <laughs> and then we did the uh, nestle caramac as well i gave this a four out of five and i said it's very moorish really i think i think a four is probably about right um it's quite it's not as quite unique these days what of all the sort of caramel that's coming out and things from the um from cadbury in australia and in the uk now um there's been a few other things you know there's been the hershey's um what it's called now it's a golden crunch or something yeah and obviously the videl one as well it may have been out at the time but i only discovered it before so there's quite a few offerings now in this range and of course there's the mcvitie's gold as well yeah so i think uh, it's not quite as unique as it was but it's still about the same it's still you know a good four out of five i think but uh, one i might have to review again i think because it's just one of those where you know yeah it's I had it for some time i think this might have been the last time i had it actually so i might need to go over it again just to check and see how it holds up today but yeah i think i'm going to stick with a four out of five i think that's probably fair enough <laughs> And then lastly, yes, the Nestle Aero, yeah, so I gave this a four, actually. I think I pretty much said I'm not a big fan of the chocolate, but I can appreciate it. You know, I don't know, I, I think regular Aeros, the, the, they're not velvety enough. The, the, the aerations, the bubbles in it are too big, really. I don't think it's velvety enough for, as a result of that. I gave it a four out of five. I think for me it's a three out of five. Um, they're just, I prefer the small, like, little Aero like bubbles or some little spheres they do. You know, they they just have smaller bubbles in them. Um, I say, you know, unless things have changed, of course, but that's how it felt to me anyway. And it just tastes nicer as a result of that. They're just more velvety, just nicer to eat, more pleasurable. Yeah, so I think they're the way to go. I think the actual bar itself, as I say, I think is a three out of five for me. It's a bit average. Could even be less than that. I gave it a four. I think that's very, far too high, as I say. I think um, from memory and things like that, um, yeah, the, the bars are not the way to go. The way I would go is definitely like the mini eggs or the uh, mini spheres or whatever. Um, Aero, I'm not sure what they're called, as I say, but they're the ones to look out for, for sure. <laughs> okay, guys, well, that's all the reviews I did one year and five years ago. I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, I'll say link, um, yeah, links to all the videos, all the reviews are in the description. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. And if you want to watch those reviews, I'll say go click on the links in the description to, uh, yeah, to find them, um, to watch them. <laughs> um, yeah, if you like this uh, video, please uh, like it and subscribe to the channel as well. Or even if you don't like it and subscribe to the channel, that's fine. <laughs> it's just as good for me. <laughs> but I hope you do, I really do. And leave a comment on free. Yeah, let me know your thoughts as well. Uh, always great to hear from you, truly is, and always do reply. Um, yeah, um, check out the uh, YouTube member program, links in the description for that. Great to support the channel, you get something back depending on the you pick. And Discord servers, uh, link is in the description as well. So um, great way to keep in touch with the community and myself as well. So check those out. <laughs> okay guys, take care, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. See ya. Bye. <laughs>